I'm from Woodbury, New Jersey. South Jersey, stand up. That's what's up. So, how long you been in the game, man? Uh, how long I've been in the game is a crazy question. I've been rhyming mm -hmm. since like seven. And you're I've like been, you're like thirteen. I'm twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm twenty four. Uh -huh. Who was one of your biggest influences coming up? Uh, just a lot of a lot of local rappers is, is who I looked up to. Okay. Um, but shouts out to Big Lou from Camden. You know what I mean? He yeah. was a major major influence because he was the first artist that I knew about from South Jersey. Okay. That was actually doing it for yeah. real. Yeah, because you know like he, he had that deal with uh, K. Slay, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Now, you were in the group beforehand too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ragtag. Shouts out to Ragtag. Okay. Shouts out to my man Patch. And really. There was a whole bunch of spitters in Woodbury, but nobody really had a coalition. It right. wasn't like, I just wanted to get the hottest dudes in, in, in my age group, mm -hmm. in my peers, together in one group and form like a, a super group. Mm -hmm. And it worked. It worked. That's <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, like, do you guys still get together and like collab on songs or? Uh, anyway, very, know. very rarely. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody, everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Um, uh, shouts out to my man, uh, Mo Shams out there in Wisconsin. You know what I mean? He's out in Wisconsin. That's you my, know what? my right hand man. When I first met you and then when I started playing your music, that's the guy that actually started calling me from Wisconsin. He was yeah. blown. I, I got calls from Wisconsin and California. Wow. So, yo, play that rich quick joint again. That's crazy. So, I mean, and to be honest, man, you were like probably one of the first artists uh, besides uh, my man Steve Smith out there in uh, North Jersey that you had these phone lines. You you completely shut down the phone lines like when I started playing your music. That's love, man. That's so good for me to hear, dog. Oh, man. That's love. But um, shouts out to the fans. Yeah, shouts shout out, out to the people the fans, that believe man. in Rich Quick, man. Y'all do y'all thing, man. I love y'all. How did you meet this guy? Because Chelly, I'm telling you, Chelly is when you talk about like like cats in Philly, he is yeah, everywhere. Yeah. He, so yeah. how did you hook up with Chelly, man? Chelly. I met Chelly. I was with I was with a, a independent record label in South Jersey. Um, Chelly worked for the label. Um, label fell apart, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> Chelly was one of those dudes that kept reaching out to me like, "Yo, we got this popping over here." Went across the bridge, went to Philly. Mm -hmm. We got this popping over here. We doing this and that. After the whole situation with the record label, I wasn't mm -hmm. trying to mess with Chelly, so he would call me and I wouldn't <laughs> answer the phone. I'll hit the ignore button like, "Nah, I'm not dealing with him." Uh -huh. And his partner Jody kept calling me, and I'm shout like, to Jody. "Yeah, shouts out to Jody, but Jody, yes, man, she's she's the best." Uh, she kept calling me, I'm ignoring, and then finally one day I picked up. Chelly was like, "Listen, man, all you gotta do is just get in the studio, dog, and and we're gonna do some work, and we'll just see where it goes. If you don't like, if you ain't feeling it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Then 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 go do what you do. But get in the studio, got in the studio, did like 15 tracks in five hours, legendary." Um, and and the rest is history, I guess. I guess you could say. Like you, you roll with some good spitters, man. I mean, yeah. and, and you're and you're and you're an official spitter yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, how was like? Did did, did they it. accept you right off the bat, or you had to go and prove Not, yourself? I wouldn't say that they accepted me right off the bat. I kind of had to play my position for mm -hmm. a long time. Right. I wasn't all in everybody's face mm -hmm. trying to rap. Um, that's a big mistake I think that MCs make right. because they know that they're talented. They know they can spit. They want to be in everybody's face trying to rap. Right. Um, but I was like that, mm -hmm. and and Chelly kind of had to get me in the right mindset. Well, I mean, because like like you said, because like you you were in the the presence of what like Tone Trump, Jack yeah, Frost, right. yep, Tone Trump, Enes. Jack Frost, Enes, Reed Dallas, mm -hmm. Sandman, a, a lot of a lot of great. Right. MCs, right, and and even like we said earlier, uh, Big Lou in Jersey, right, right. finally, you know what I mean, and that's somebody that I looked up to, exactly. And uh, now all of a sudden, I'm I'm brushing elbows with, yeah, with a lot yeah. of yeah, congratulations on that, dudes, man, because man. when 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 they talk of not not even when they talk about South Jersey hip hop MCs, you're mentioned with Philly MCs too, because yeah. you roll with Official Street Radio, yeah, yeah. Shout out to DJ No Froze out yeah. there. I saw the video. When I saw that video, I was like, Chelly. Give me the original copy of that so I can play it on the video show because yeah. that... That's love. Man. Yeah. Well, shout, was, out, shout out to allflamers.com. Yeah, they man. showed me a lot of love, and that's why I really did that video to support what they do. I mean, they 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 were 
putting my songs on their website when nobody cared about who I was, man. Right. So shouts out to them them dudes. Shouts out my man Mac over there, all flamers dot com. Now you gonna do it, man. You got any shout outs real quick? Um basically uh shouts out to my mom because she's probably listening. I love you mom. Shout out um, to Rich Quick's mom. <laughs> Shouts out to uh, South Jersey, man. We doing it right now, man. That's that's my man Jay Griff online, man. Yeah. He's a, he's a he's a fresh artist. Actually, you just played a, uh, a record that he engineered, the Afghan record by uh, Tone Trump. He engineered that. Oh, record. you you engineered that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's he's, a good look, man. He shout him out on the beginning. Oh, you know that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Now, how do you describe your flow? Because it's it, it switches up. It, it, it's versatile, which I like. Um. I can only describe my flow as being a combination of every rapper I ever thought was hot. Okay. I just always listen to hip hop. Um, it's, I guess it's just like a melting pot of styles. It can't really be identified. Mm -hmm. um, I get comparisons to everybody. Right. That's how I know it can't be identified. Right. People, one day they tell me I sound like Eminem. Next day they tell me I sound like Chino XL, Talib Kweli. Tell me about your new projects. Uh, new project, I'm with the DJs, coming soon, okay. uh, DJ No Frills, Benja Styles, uh, saluting the DJ, I, I got a lot of respect for, for the DJs and, and what they do, they really, they really make it possible for artists to be successful, Right. all goes to the DJ. Man. Now, those three tracks that I played, are they are they going to be up there, or you have some more exclusive joints? Um, they, the, the, the three, the, out of the three tracks, I would say... Two of them definitely sure. gonna make the mixtape. Okay. At least maybe, maybe all three. But I don't know. Okay. We got a lot of songs for the mixtape. They not all gonna make the mixtape. Right. I'm passing all the songs to to Frills and Benja, mm -hmm. and they going, you know what I mean? Put they put they touches on and, and do what they do. If they feel some songs don't fit on the mixtape. They not gonna make the mixtape. Uh, who are some of the special guests that are gonna be on the mixtape? Um, not too many, man. I'm okay. I'm trying to keep it to a me. minimum. It's okay. my debut mixtape. Uh, a lot of right. people haven't haven't heard of me. So I want to keep it as, as true to myself as possible. Um, of course, we got Reed Dollars on. That's my man. That's mm -hmm. my brother. Um, I got to get him up here, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I definitely got to get him up. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Reed, Reed uh, he's, he's, he's a phenomenal. beast. Phenomenal, yeah. yeah he's, he's, like he's definitely a beast. Crazy. Man. He's a real he's, he's one of like the, the Philly artists that are really underrated. I, I believe that, I too. I mean, he's, he's really... He I mean, can... People don't even... Reed, can, he, he writes these amazing songs. I... I mean, it's it's hard. To, it's hard to really. I don't think people really understand what a, what a talent he really is. You know what I mean? He he can really he can really write songs, and he he's good for spitting. Don't get right. me wrong, but he he's a really uh, brilliant songwriter also. If you could name one producer and one MC to work with that you haven't worked with yet, who who would it be? Um, an MC that I like to work with would probably be Slug from Atmosphere. Okay. He's one of my favorite MCs. Um, a producer that I would like to work with, Primo, man. I, man, I need to get man. in the studio premiere, man. That'd be crazy. Chelly, you gotta make that happen, man. Yeah, make it happen, Chelly. I mean, come on, you're the man in Philly. You know, I mean, every I, everybody that I see, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Damn, good. Tell him to do it. Yeah, I get, I got you. <laughs> no, but pre, no, no, that's that's good because um, like a lot of people. The one thing I like about you, you can go over to mainstream, and but you're still underground. So, right. like, how do you like your style? Is it more mainstream or underground, or does it really matter? I thought I thought that it was underground to the mainstream started liking it. Um, I think that's where music is going. I yeah. think I think people want organic sounds. People are going just, back to you that. know what? It's good music. It's good music. You can never deny <laughs> good music. It bro. is good music. So, how can people get in contact with you? Um, you know, uh, the, the usual mm -hmm. Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash richquick. You search richquick. Also like my fan page because I have like 52 likes or some That's crazy. It? No, no, no I, got, I was about to say. <laughs> no, get but, that up, man. Yeah, listen, I need people to like my fan page. <laughs> but also become a friend on Facebook, man. Facebook.com slash richquick. Twitter, we, like we already said, at richmfnquick. Um, it's countless sites on the internet. You can get my music. Mm -hmm. Just just Google. You'll, you'll be able to find it. Officialstreetradio.com. Mm -hmm. Log on to that. UERadioLive.com. Um, you know what I mean? Just um, And when does the project come out again? 
We as of right now, we do not have a release date uh, okay. for the project, but it's coming soon. It is coming out. Yeah, I've been telling people know. it's coming yeah. out the day after detox. Because because <laughs> you know <laughs> they think it's not coming out, but it's, it's coming out for sure. Because you know I've been bugging the hell out of you. Yeah, I'm like rich. When is the project coming out? Yeah, because I wanted to get up here to promo the project, yeah. but the the project is coming, man. We just wanted to be perfect and and and, and fully represent who I am. It's a, it's a very special project to me. It's my debut project. Shouts out to my man AP at Versal Ambition for lacing me with the with the with the clothing, yeah. man. He he got he's from out of Woodbury. Okay, you know what I mean, got a clothing line at Versal Ambition. You know what I mean? So shouts out to that brother AP.